here's something you might find interesting, and that is wear performance of ultra-high performance tyres on track, and why you should probably think about using track-specific tyres. Now, these are all 18-inch ultra-high performance summer tyres that I've just done a test with. And these particular tyres, it's the left front and the left rear for each tyre. They've done a bit of dry braking, they've done curved aquaplaning, and most importantly, they've done three laps of a very high wear uh, dry handling track. Now the Yokohama, this is Yokohama Advent V107, it actually still looks pretty fresh front and rear. You can tell the front's had a little bit of work, but uh, you could do some more laps on it and you'd be fine on the road. At the other end of the spectrum is this, the Bridgetone Potenza Sport. Now this tyre historically has had a hard time on very high wear tracks, it just doesn't seem to like getting really hot. And once again, it's kind of eaten the outer shoulder. But it's not just the Bridgetone that's had a really hard time. The Goodyear Eagle F1 Asymmetric 6, um, has seen better days, like you could still run that on the road, but the outer shoulder has started to tear a little bit. The Continental Premium Contact 7, again, showing wear. Uh, the Hankook Ventus S1 Evo 3 is actually looking pretty good, but it was the least dynamic on track. You just wouldn't want to use it on track. Then even the fabled Michelin Pilot Sport 5. Now, it's not the Pilot Sport 4S, and you can tell that because it's just not intended for track use, and when they get hot, they do struggle. So, when you're doing track days, or if you do like driving really, really hard on track, uh, think about what tyres you're using.